Hi, so in this video, we're going to talk about creating custom calculated symbols. This is something that I recently learned about in the platform Sierra chart, and um, it was basically an experiment. I wanted to see if I could accomplish adding together the values of multiple instruments and displaying that value on a price ladder or a DOM trading DOM and um, basically putting that next to the markets that I'm trading and basically it's acting as a correlation that I can reference next to the market that I'm trading. So the example was this, I trade the NASDAQ or the S&P and I wanted to keep an eye on what the FANG stocks are doing. So I have them listed right here. These are the ticker symbols, the top 10 holdings of the NASDAQ basically. So this is more than 50% of the value of the index of the NASDAQ. In this case, we're actually going to be creating our own custom symbols to figure out what the value is of symbols of our choice, not necessarily spreads that are already traded on the exchange. So again, I wanted to add together the values of these stocks and create a custom symbol and then display that on a depth of market here. And that's already what I've done at this point. So I'm going to basically show you how I created this symbol. And right now the markets are closed, so you're not seeing how they move. But I've actually tested this and used a correlation coefficient between this and the parent index and it appears to be pretty accurate okay so now i'm going to show you how i managed to do this so i'm going to reference some aspects of this documentation here i'm just going to pretty much skim over it and tell you what i think are the most important things here that you need to keep in mind so this feature only works with intraday charts and the quote board and with intraday charts it's basically any chart that's less than a daily chart time frame it also works on a chart DOM. So the advantage of this feature is that you can create accurate spread charts for non-exchange traded spreads or where exchange traded spread data is not available. A custom calculated symbol can be traded using trade simulation mode, both during a chart replay and when streaming data. However, there's no support for trading one of the custom calculated symbols. So there is no market depth data or bid or ask values for a custom calculated symbols and continuous futures contract charts are not supported for custom calculated symbols. Okay, so let's go on to the instructions. Now, depending on how you're running your Sierra chart, you may or may not need to do this first step here before creating the custom symbol. So the way I have it set up is I have one instance of Sierra chart for my main trading service. So it could be in this case, it's CQG. And I have another main instance of Sierra chart running that is connected to interactive brokers. So I'm not using any sub instances for my setup. I'm using two separate main instances. So this will basically only apply to you if you're using sub instances of Sierra chart. We can start with the basic instructions here and I'm going to go through this with you in a second here. So basically what this will allow you to do is create custom symbols and then use arithmetic operators to basically do what you need to do with these symbols. So this is an example symbol that they created. In this case, it's two times Euro US dollar minus two times the Euro against the British pound. And that's an example of the complexity and the custom symbols you can create. So for the purpose of my example, I'm only going to be using addition because I simply want to know what the sum of all of these stocks is and display that value on a DOM or a chart. So now I'm going to basically walk you through these instructions right here. So the first thing you need to do is get your Sierra chart window. Now we go to global settings here. We're going to go to symbol settings. Now on the top of this window, we want to make sure that use custom symbol settings values is checked. Now we want to create a new symbol. So now when we're creating our custom symbol, we need to enclose our individual symbols inside of these squiggly brackets. So in this case, I'm going to start with Apple AAPL and close that into a squiggly bracket. Then we put our arithmetic operator. So I'm just going to be using addition in this case. So I'm going to proceed to do this for every symbol now. So now we'll just make sure everything is written correctly here. And in this case, I've already created this symbol. So it's giving me this message that settings already exist for this specific symbol. Um, so what I'm actually going to do for the purpose of this example is I'm going to add another symbol there. Even if it's unrelated to the symbol, it's just going to be for the example here. So now I'll press OK. So now we have our new symbol that has been created here. 
There's a few things that we need to change in the settings in order for this to work properly. Some of these settings need to be set exactly this way or this will not work. So the first thing is you probably want to include this custom symbol into a category so that it can easily be selected. So you want to put it into its own category. So I'll put custom symbols. Now we'll go down here. We want to make sure that our price display format and tick sizes are set accordingly. So since this is the value of many stocks, I'm going to set the price display format to 0.01. .01. And this can always be changed later. The tick size will be set to 0.01 .01, as well as the currency value per tick. Finally, there's one setting. It is uses formula operators. This needs to absolutely be set to yes. Now we can hit OK. And now we've made our custom symbol. Now that you have your custom symbol, you can import it into any chart that you have already, or you can go to file, find symbol, and then your symbol should appear right here in the category that you created. In this case, it was custom symbols. So you can click on the symbol, then click on open intraday chart or open trading DOM. So in this case, I'll open an intraday chart. Now, when it comes to loading data here, sometimes depending on the amount of symbols you're loading or depending on the trading service you're getting this from, it could take a little bit of time to load all of the data. In this case, it's still waiting to download the historical data. Now, it's written in the documentation that if you notice it's taking abnormally long, what you can do is simply disconnect from your data feed, control plus F11 to disconnect, and then hit F11 to reconnect to that. And um, it should download the data properly at that point. Now, I will encourage you to go finish reading the documentation yourself just to make sure that you understand everything going on here and any issues that might appear. So when you have the custom symbol and it's being calculated, you're going to see FSC right next to the symbol. And that means that the formula symbol is calculating. It indicates that it's functioning properly. If you see FSE, then it indicates an error. It could be that one of the symbols that makes up the custom calculated symbol is out of date and therefore there is no data to match up or there is a more serious error that would need to be reported. Now, if we go down, there's a few notes about volume calculations, which is interesting. In the case of a custom calculated symbol, the following fields, total volume, bid volume, ask volume, and number of trades for each generated intraday data record are the total sum from these same fields of all of the component symbols used in the custom calculated symbol. This sum is calculated across all of the trades contained within the standard time increment of one second. You cannot reliably use the generated data for custom calculated symbols with the numbers bars study. So I guess you would have to experiment with certain things, but I have experimented with using a few studies on custom symbols already. So I'll show you what I've got. So I do have one study that is basically a volume by price. So let's take a look at this chart on the bottom right here. In this case, uh, so this is set to a custom symbol of the FANG stocks, top 10 holding of the NASDAQ. So I have a volume by price study here and um, it's set to multiple profiles from start to end time. Each of them is one minute. And the other setting I did change was highlight the value area, yes. And the value area percentage is 86%. And then I just changed the colors of those highlights and made sure that it's showing a value label here. And then what I did with this study is I overlay that onto the depth of market that's going to be next to my trading DOMs. And this is the DOM with the custom symbol on it. That overlay is basically showing me where 86% of the volume is in the last minute so I can keep track of where the market has been trading relative to its correlations. So that's where I'm at for now. I hope this video helped you in some way and take care. Bye.